Why hello everyone and welcome to the channel. On today's video we'll be taking a look at the top 5 tablets of 2013. Before we start the video, let me just let you know that I am keeping all Windows 8 tablets out of this. I haven't really done much research on Windows 8 tablets, so don't feel like adding it to the video, when personally, I just don't know enough about it. Anyway though, let's go to our first tablet. So starting with our first tablet, which actually is going to be the 5th place winner, we have the Kindle Fire HDX. It's a great 7 inch tablet, and if you're really into Amazon services, it's just a great thing to get. It's a great tablet for kids, it's all laid out really nicely so they can access their games easily and all that stuff. And for the starting price of 230 bucks with the 16GB model, it's not a bad deal at all, so they might want to consider getting it. But anyway, moving on to our 4th tablet, we have the Samsung Note 10.1 inch 2014 edition. This tablet it has a 10.1 inch display and also is running Android, of course, with Samsung skin on it, which gives it other things that regular Android would not. Like the S Pen, this tablet comes with a stylus called the S Pen, which gives more functionality to the tablet with the stylus. This tablet also has some really nice features like having two applications side by side on the same display. I really wish lots of tablets would do that. Multitasking is definitely a thing that tablets lack, but this tablet has it. Of course, I haven't really played with it much, so I don't know how great the multitasking is, but still, it's a great feature to have. And going back with the S Pen, the S Pen really gives some great functionality to help taking notes if you're a student in school. And with that 10.1 inch display, you can definitely see your notes great, you can see your movies, pictures, anything great. It just has a nice 10.1 inch display, very high quality. Anyway though, if you're going to want this tablet, it's going to start off at 600 bucks for the 32GB model. But moving on now to our third tablet, we have the iPad Mini Retina. This tablet has a really nice 7 inch display, very high quality, and it is running iOS, not Android. I think the display on the iPad Mini is a great screen size, it's really great for anything you want to do with it. This tablet doesn't feel like it's an overly big phone, it actually feels like it's more or less of a tablet, though you can still carry it around really easily like in your pocket. Well, I mean, if you kind of have big pockets. But anyway, this tablet is great, really nice quality, really light, really thin, and very fast. It basically has the same power as the higher end iPad Air. But if you want to get the iPad Mini Retina, it does start off at 400 bucks, which is a decent amount of money compared to other 7-inch tablets, which is why it's only at the third place. Anyway though, let's move on. So our second place tablet is the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 really is a great tablet. It has a 7-inch display that looks beautiful. It's running pure Android, no add-ons, no additions, just pure Android. The overall design is nothing too fancy. It is kind of sleek and durable, so nothing to complain about. The performance on the Nexus 7 is nothing short of amazing. It might not have all the little inputs and output ports on the tablet, but still for 230 bucks, it's just a great deal. So moving on now to our first tablet of 2013, we have the iPad Air. The iPad Air just has an amazing 9.7 inch display, has an amazing design, is really thin, really light. It's of course running iOS 7 at the moment, which some people like, some people hate, it really depends on you. But I have to say with the new A7 processor, it's just extremely fast, extremely reliable. And for the starting price of 500 bucks, it's a great tablet that I would recommend to anyone. But anyway guys, that's my top five tablets of 2013. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Tell me in the comment section below. Is there any tablets I should have included into this list or should have removed? Anyway, guys, my name is Eric, and I'm signing out.